What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Shaq Clips. Let's get straight into it. I don't care. How long have we been together? I literally do not care. Check no, it no. Hey, what's going on? What is up with that? Goodness gracious. The worst couples I can find. The like who's guys my favorite clip will be at the end. But in this first one, it is absolutely wild. This man is confident he's not this girl's father. Not my daughter. She's not mine. Nothing like me. Nothing like me. She's not my daughter. Period. She's not mine. When he don't get what he wants, I'm not his daughter. He just been a big absence in my life. Um, uh, her no, mom. Keep it a buck. The next kind of, <laughs> the next kind of look the same. Um, me and her, we got to dating. Wasn't no relationship going on. It was just a hidden quick thing. My mother always told me that he was my father. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> he literally said he hit it and quit it. Savage. She had no denial of him not being a father. She hasn't messed with nobody else. She was a neighborhood bro. Oh, oh, <laughs> hold on. Let, she was a neighborhood bike. Everybody had a ride. Good Lord. Excuse me. Let's excuse. be respectful. Excuse, okay, excuse, you know who her father is? Could you get this to her, please? This is... You look at her and you tell me. This is a me. photo of a man? Yes. It's her father. You know why I say that? Because that's for the simple fact because I caught him and her mom having... That is my great, great uncle. I pulled up in the yard, family house. The door was cracked. It was open. I walk in. The bed is sitting right there, right in front of the door. It's a small apartment. Smack it. They get me. Smack in the cheeks. Next thing I know, he hear the door open. He turn around and look and see me. She raised her head up. All I did was look and shook my head and walked out. Your mother maintained without a doubt that Mr. Lewis was your biological father. Yes, sir. She never told you any different? No. You are not the father. Oh, Bam. God. Cut out. That's her father right there. <laughs> that's him right there. Oh, my God. Thank you. And this is exactly what happens when you have a... Bro, that's so brutal. I, I feel bad for the girl because, like, these moms, they lie to these girls. They lie to these kids and say, no, nah, that's your dad. That's your dad. And then these girls are longing for that relationship with this dad because, you know, daddy's girls, that's a that's a phrase for a reason. They long for this relationship. Uh, that's why I say, you know, and it's as funny as it is, it's like, hey, Google, show me the relationship with her father. <laughs> Somebody commented on a video a few days ago that was like, Levi, you made my Google go off. <laughs> Alexa, show me the relationship with her father. <laughs> Get a woman with no kids, son. Are we sending our sons out into the world to go be with women that already have children? Would you, so would you suggest that to your child? I wouldn't suggest it, but if it happened, I'm not going to ostracize him. No, I didn't him. ask that. I asked, would you suggest it? Yeah, we, we didn't ask the second part. That's where they always want to jump to. As a mother and you with you, him as a father. No, I'm are not you suggesting it. to your son to go be with a woman that already has a kid. OK, the answer is no. Now what? Every woman knows the answer to this question. But yeah, see, every woman knows that you would not suggest your son go get with a single mom. Single mom. Go raise another man's kids. I go play another man's saved game. Are you out of your mind, bruv? Absolutely not. Two kids. The last thing I want to be is divorced with two kids and 30. That's oh my crazy. God. But we're gonna be 30. We have two more years left. I know. I have three. So what are you doing for these two years? You gonna be a hoe? I have to do a hoe? Yeah. Maybe. She's a runner. Maybe She's I a will. Oh no, you said you married young and you have your two kids already and you're divorced. Isn't that what divorced people do after that? Just sleep around and have fun. I feel like I haven't been a hoe yet, but I might have it in me a little bit later. <laughs> oh, we'll see. I wanna get married again. I'm like such a lover girl. I just wanna like have a happily ever after. This woman did have- Dude, oh my lord. Bobby Altoff. I hate to see this stuff because she had it. She had a husband. She's got kids. They could have worked it out. But now she's going to she's gonna go out there. She wants more mileage. And then Hollywood ruins people, bruv. Like, look, she's got the lip fillers now. She's dressing different. Her head's a little bit bigger. She's got some more clout. She's getting attention from other men. Ugh. So bad. That's why when women go out into the market, bro, and they make money and they become successful, they go, they go, great. I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man. They're like, yay. But you're independent of what? You're independent of a man because you were dependent on a man. That's why I always say, man, you got to always make more money than your girl because as soon as your girl makes more money, she's hypergamous. She wants something better than you. She doesn't want to be like, well, I make more than him. I'll take care of him. Most women don't want that unless they're beat. And that's just the facts. Like, you're never going to find a baddie that makes more money than you that wants to take care of you. It just doesn't happen. The test has done more harm than good to the society. At this point, made them ban DNA tests. 
In fact, everybody should stop conducting. She's a runner, she's a track star. DNA test. The only women that have problems with DNA tests. Yeah, the only women that want DNA test bans are the ones that are single moms. Single mom. Of course, you ladies want them banned. You, you, Accountability is the plague. Yep. Text me. The minute your eyes do this, text me. I need that good morning text out the way. I need to know I'm the first thing that you think about when you wake up. Oh, hell no. You need to be like this. And if I don't get it, I think you hate me and you can have a good rest of your life. Gentlemen, don't fall. Bro, that's insane. But this is the look of a bunch of insecurity. The tattoos, the lip fillers, probably a nose job, the umbrellas. It's just all insecurity. If you're making up for your lack of aesthetic, it's because you're insecure about who you really are. It really, I mean, it truly is. That does not come from a two-parent household. I don't care what race you are. You came from a two-parent household? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love. She said she only wants to date a man that came from come from a two-parent household, but she didn't even come from one. Stupid. <laughs> Hypocrisy in this clip. But then again, this is something. Bro, that make it make sense, bro. They always want what they don't even provide. They're like, I want this, but do you provide that? No. Yes, I am. Yes. I'm gonna go a nigga that could go for rounds. I don't want a nigga that go for one round and tap out. I don't. That's not what I'm settling for today. I'm sorry. One round? Uh, I did, I, now, now I do one round. Isaiah, you don't only put one round. Yeah, one round? How many rounds? How many rounds are men supposed to do? Chad, how many rounds can you go? I'm, I'm, I'm keep it a buck. I'm a one round guy. After I've, after, after the clip is emptied, it's a wrap for you, boy. Guys and just me. Are you in college? Yes, of course. All right, so look, what, what year are you in? My freshman, freshman, obviously. So how you like it so far? You know what happens freshman year? College, only go for the party. Yeah. Have you been there so far? What's your craziest college confession? <laughs> um, no comment. Um, actually, multiple guys. Me. And this is exactly why they're so Bro, this is so sad. It's a downfall of society, bro. Promiscuity is the downfall. What we men value in a woman is exclusivity. Chat, let me know if you agree. We we value your exclusivity. We don't value your promiscuity. Like going out dressed like that, you're just marketing to men that are gonna see you as an object. Tonight. What is your mission? I've been the most amazing husband for the last 20 years, right. and the bitch is divorcing me, Like, and, and she's not doing it nice. She's doing it in the worst possible way a person could ever divorce somebody. For the first time in 20 years, I hope to find the cleanest, shaved <laughs> I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> this is absolutely so sad. This man is a savage. Good for him, though. <laughs> the cleanest is shaven. <laughs> he wants it shaven. <laughs> That is, wow, that's bold. I don't think I'd ever say that. Like, I'm looking for the cleanest, sh most shaven. A second chance if she cheated on you? If she heals the soul, I'll give her a shot. You would be considered a simp. Sometimes, having a pure heart, you always like to give people that second chance. Also, if she's uh, uh, bad, she's bad. She bad, she bad. That's no okay, more story. Sometimes you can't do better. What? Oh, wait, but you gotta have what more self- You have more self- You gotta have more self-confidence in yourself. I don't think you do. She bad, she bad. Fuck the self-confidence. She bad, she bad. I'll risk it all. Come on now, dog. These men are just simps and- Ah, oh, so stupid. stupid. End the simp epidemic. Stop thinking like that. Stop pedestalizing women. Women don't like to be treated like they're all great. They actually like it. They like guys that don't treat them like they're perfect. They like guys that they feel like they have to work for. Women are hypergamous in nature. They like knowing that they have the best guy, and the best guy means that she's not going to get treated the best. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Stop treating these women like princesses, bro. That's why I always say treat these women like one of your buddies. Treat them like one of the homies. Like your ho With one of your homies, you wouldn't pedestalize him. You wouldn't gas him up and call him the greatest thing ever and say, dude, you're looking really handsome today. You're looking great. You wouldn't be glazing him and doing tricks on it. You'd be trying to humble him. That's what you need to do with these women. Man goes viral for his reasoning on why children become fatherless. The bitter baby mama makes us leave the child alone. I mean, you got a point. A backlash about this post, right? But there's a lot of dads out here that are not deadbeats, right? But the bitter baby moms make it so unbearable to co-parent with these women and try to raise the these big back Betty. <laughs> the big back Betty bitty, bitter baby. <laughs> Say that, say that 10 times fast. Big back Betty, bitter baby mama. Love it. These children that they are pushing the fathers out of these kids' lives, right? And we get a lot of unrealistic people that'll say shit like, 
no matter what she does, it shouldn't affect your relationship with the child. Let me tell you something. I am a black man out here in society. It's hard enough just being a black man, making it to work and coming home without getting shot and oppressed by police and all the other demons that's in, in, in the environments that we live in. Now, not only do we got to jump through the hoops of being a black man out here in society, but we got to come and have a war with you as well just to do the right thing by our kids. Let me say this once and for all. Our responsibility is the kid. We don't have to give you extra money for you. We don't even have to act like we like you. If the kids are old enough to make the phone calls, then there is no reason for you to be involved at all. Take your emotions mm. out of it. It's about the kid. And when you do this nutty shit and this bitter shit and you're worried about who he fucking, who he seeing, who's at his residence, what girlfriend he got, what chick she, he got around braiding your daughter here and all of this weird shit, that's where the confusion comes in. Let these men that want to be fathers father their kid without you being a fucking headache. Stop pushing these black men out of their kid's life. It takes a village. And little boys need their dads and so do little girls. But this guy's making so much sense. And I mean, he's preaching, but at the end of the day, I, I think everybody needs to take accountability, right? The common denominator in all the things in your life is you. And more than likely, it, it, Cat Williams has a joke about this. He's like, um, you went ahead, you went and messed around and had a baby with banana cream pie, and you're wondering where you messed up. Well, don't have a baby with banana cream pie. <laughs> like, if, if a girl is crazy and she shows her, you, if she shows you her crazy, believe her. Stop thinking oh, I can change her or she's just crazy for me or it's just, you know, she's an exception. No, stop making babies with these women that are crazy, bro. And so I think he needs to take accountability and say, you know what? I shouldn't have got a crazy chick pregnant. And that's my bad. Um, but y'all know how I am with accountability. I think everything's my fault. So when you get caught cheating on a sneaky vacation, oh, it's a wrap for buddy. It's a wrap for buddy. You got caught? Or your girl was cheating? Which one is it, brother man? Are you videoing, videoing yourself crying? I'm so confused. What? I'm so confused. You're only crying, were you? Come on, five kids. All your kids live with you. Whoa, slow down, Caleb. You kind of skipped that. Single mom? Single mom. Five kids? She's a runner, she's a track star. Yes. Okay, Four so five. there should be child support coming in, right? Yes. But what does that add to your income? $1,000 a month is no. pretty much. He placed the divorce order in another state and it's become impossible for him to voluntarily agree to give Texas jurisdiction. He's purposely not doing it so that I can't get the actual income I need for the children. He was the father of all five? He's the father of two. And two, the two oldest. what about the others then? There should be child support? Like 370 a month. Okay. I don't receive all of that. I believe there are two other children unaccounted for. Right. I don't get child support for both of them. Why? It's Her dad is completely evading. They've tried locating him like four times and he's a chameleon. I don't think you have the best pick in men. I do not. Okay. <laughs> That's why I'm single. No, I'm not going to lie. I actually give her a... Whoa. Well, at least she owned up to it. Got to give her that. Gotta give credit when credit is due, but dad gum, baby girl, you think you couldn't have figured it out after the first kid? Or the first two kids? Instead of having five? <laughs> Golly! Five kids? That's a whole lot of kids, man. It took you five kids to figure out you got bad taste in men? Man, I stomped my toe once and I'm like, I need to watch where I'm walking. <laughs> you ladies out here, five kids. <laughs> And don't even think about your decision making skills. Oh! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, nice to meet like you, Doug. Are you guys like dating? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Alright, Doug. Alright, yeah, I'm not saying. Why are you trying to look at No, no, no. <laughs> Generation is so cooked, bruv. I wish you would have been getting gas by nah, a strip right nah, there. I ain't crazy. gonna lie, don't be a Joey. Nah, Joey, you yeah, seen bro, this? You that that. Gas. That was bad. That was bad, that was bro. Bad, bro. <sighs> that is the biggest red uh, flag ever, and honestly, I would have kicked. Why are you trying to, you trying to, you know, you trying to 
Clout chasers, bruv. This is why, like, you need to go get a girl from a small town that doesn't care about the clout. They don't care about the recognition. Get a girl that doesn't post a lot on social media and craves a lot of outside validation because you run into stuff like that. Ask my girlfriend to see her phone. Okay. I don't care. Why are you asking me that? Can I go through your phone? Like, I'm going to go check your Facebook, your Instagram. I'm going to check everything. Come on. I don't care. How long have we been together? I literally do not care. Here. So you don't care what I check? I can check literally everything that I want to check. Yes. Now, Why are you? Now, if I go check this Target card... No! 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 <laughs> what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Give me the phone! No, 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 no. You handed me the no, phone! No, 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 no! You, you handed me the phone! You said messages, Instagram. You did not say nothing about I'm Target. I'm checking everything! No. I want to no. check everything! I'm no, check. I'm good. Give me the I'm phone! Good. I'm the good! Phone. I'm good! No! I need to no. check! No! No! You cannot have my phone! No. <laughs> give me the phone! Target card was there! No! It's no. like that for real. So you don't want me checking your Target card, really? No, I don't want you checking my Target card. Because no. it's something in it that you finna buy, right? No, it's not. You don't Give me the phone. You don't need to see. No, you don't need to see. No, I'm super glad you didn't. Care. That 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 check. Uh, that's actually hilarious. I like that. Let me check your Target card. Let's jump into the subreddit. There was a clip by Cultural News. Let's check this out. Of three hundred four cooked after calling men insecure for not dating her. I mean, is it chat? Is it insecure if you don't want to date an Of girl? I think it's just a preference. Just like these ladies, they have preferences, right? Hmm. That's Interesting. you going outside of the boundaries of the relationship. And I assume this would apply both ways, right? If a woman were to yeah. watch, she would also be cheating. Uh, going, opening this up to the panel, do you think that uh, watching while in a relationship is uh, is cheating? No, but I don't like it. You don't like it, okay? No. Not cheating. Not cheating. Like, but do Thursday you dislike it if your partner were to watch? If it's like care. an OnlyFans situation where they're paying the woman, but if they're just watching... Well, ladies, stop it with this thick eyeliner. Good lord. Looking like a raccoon. Born, let's just say that's what I'm saying. I No issue? I don't care. Okay. Same answer as her. Okay. I don't necessarily think it's necessary. So you don't, you wouldn't want it, right? No. Okay. I see it as cheating, yeah. Cheating? Okay. I think it's fun to watch it together, actually. Hmm. It's kind of sexy. All right. <laughs> That's Just don't watch it at all. Cheating. That's a deal breaker. Cheating. Jake, your thoughts? I wouldn't put it in the boundary of cheating, but I'd say it's very much undesirable. Right. Mm. Women find it undesirable, certainly. Uh, what would be the... Because I don't know if women consume the same rates of men, and there's like obviously differentials between men and women here. I wonder if the perhaps counter to women's disdain for their partners or men watching would be women who use social media. Would you say that's a fair comparison? I'd or? say that's actually a direct comparison. Mm. Yeah. In, in so not, far not as... So much, not use, but like overly use social media, have a, have a public profile and are doing... Where it, they get attention. But it's like a gratuitous use of social media for attention mm. as opposed to needing it for something. Any challenges there from the panel? I mean, that, it's like your job. Like, there's also yeah, like, yeah. If you, if you need it for your work and if you, your job, Instagram's your job. Stop, dude. You're like yeah. into marketing, or if you, I have 130 something thousand followers, and IG's not my job. Something going on then. For like sure. you, if you were dating someone and you're posting on social media yeah. like that, that's different. Yeah. I, using social media, that's what you said. It's. I mean, it's. It doesn't map on 100 percent one to one. But I think men are much more sex driven and women are much more attention driven and you guys get attention through social media. Yeah, I would actually say that social media for women is like what for men mm. in terms of instant gratification mm. because men can just go and get their rocks off mm. straight away. But with women, they can get attention. And like th those, those are the two things that we both sort of uh, go to. Bro, whoever cut Jake's hair did a straight cash job. That is a slick fade, buddy boy. In terms of instant gratification, I can see like that because they can also be addictive. Yes, yeah. they mm. both are addictive. Yeah. yeah, it completely depends on the context. Mm. Well, I mean, if, if gen generally before. speaking, when it, when we talk when about was the last time you saw a girl posting something about like, look at my um, look at my hermit crap. Like, no, you're always posting bikini pictures. You're posting something of your body to get attention from other men. Stop it. Instant gratification for guys, you're it's like a sexual thing, right? So right. if a guy's are like people call them like incels, they involuntary celibate, then they'll they'll go on time just for instant gratification yeah. rather than doing the hard work. But for women, I'd say that attention is the thing that they go towards in terms of that instant gratification that actually just make like it, it sort of validation character a little bit. 
But I still think it depends on the context of what you're doing on social media. Like, what if you're posting stuff about your husband or your kids? I'd say if it's in the parameters of like a, a private account where mm-hmm. you've just got family and friends and you're posting about your family, then that's, that's all good. And what if you're talking about like niche life experiences? But see, this, these are all the exception. The exception doesn't make the rule. Most women that are on social media, they're posting about themselves. They're posting themselves in bikinis, doing things, going out and about, posting sexy pictures. So this is, what, this is a tactic I would like to call moving the goalpost. She's straight up taking it and being like going to the small minority of women that are actually posting about their husbands, their families. Most of these women are on social media posting about their bodies themselves. Loki, does somebody want some beef jerky? Free! Sit. Wait. Free. Um, really want to get on the whatever podcast. I don't know if you guys follow Brian or if you know Brian, but put a bird out in the air. Put a put a carrier pigeon out there. <laughs> Say, Brian, you should you should bring Levi Nix on the show. Um, so would love to actually, absolutely love to be on the show. Did he already eat that? My gosh, Loki's a big back. Big back, big back. Ate that so quickly, he's already licking his lips. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.